shocked and a little bit in awe um, in one sense. They th my younger boy thinks it's really cool but strange. When I realised I got a 2-1, I was jumping around the lounge. <laughs> so they thought that was funny. My children love it as well. At the beginning they thought I went to that Monsters University and that we as adults are just making up the numbers of the monsters because they're the shortfall, but they were little then. But even now, I've always got homework to do. So even they are supportive and it's brilliant being a role model. The good thing is I had a lot of support from my partner as well. That helped me to carry on and carry on with the degree accordingly and do my work accordingly as well. So that was really good and be a brilliant mum at the same time. I do think there are pressures, particularly for people with children perhaps or for, for many, you know, who, who've got to combine that, run a house and get the kids to school and then get to university and then sit, sit up half the night doing the assignments. But, you know, people do it and I think people actually, you know, we all complain a lot while we're doing it, but I think at the end of it, it's, you know, the, the sense of achievement and value you get out of that can't be taken away. It is perfectly achievable. You know, I have children, I work, I study. <laughs> As time goes on, you sort of um, you adjust and you find your own way of studying and what suits you and the family. Most people like me had had children and then returning back into sort of like education as a means of progressing their career. My children are growing up, um, and I just thought, you know, I'm not the sort of woman that stays at home pickling rhubarb, so I'd rather keep going with my education. In my home life, yes, I'm mum, wife and all this, but here I'm me. I'm Ravinda, I'm a student, mature student, and I get all the perks with it. <laughs> NUS discount.